This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. I have a deep love of science for many reasons. First, it's real whether you believe in it or not. Second, because it's fluid and constantly changing with new discoveries being made every single day. And third, because there are always exceptions to the rules. It's a strangely comforting kind of chaos. And nowhere in science are there more examples of rule breakers than there are in the field of zoology. So let's take a look at five animals that take what we think we know and flip it on its head. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching Five Weird Animal Facts. Number one, Bagheera kiplingi, a jumping spider native to Central America that is a strict vegetarian. Generally, spiders are 100% carnivorous, but B. kiplingi has abandoned that stereotype to dine only on the leaf tips of acacia shrubs. Whether this is for health reasons or personal protest to factory farming is still unclear. The spider lives its entire life in the acacia shrub and shares its habitat and food source with ants, which it constantly needs to outmaneuver to get to its meal. As a vegetarian myself, I applaud these little guys for breaking social norms and doing their own thing. Number two, the opa. Other than looking like a massive orange disc with fins, what makes this fish so incredibly odd is the fact that it's endothermic or warm-blooded. One of the basic characteristics of fish is cold-bloodedness, but the opa was like nah and evolved the ability to maintain a warmer average body temperature than the water around it due to the way that blood is carried through veins and arteries in its gills. This gives the opa the ability to keep its muscles warm, primarily its pectoral muscles, and swim more quickly than other fish also living in deeper parts of the ocean. Some people argue whether or not the metabolic processes used by this fish can technically be called warm-blooded, but whatever. We'll let the scientists do the science and I'll just stay here and tell you about it. Number three, the New Mexico Whiptail a species of lizard that's comprised only of females. They reproduce via parthenogenesis, a form of asexual reproduction that happens when an egg forms an embryo without needing to be fertilized by a male. Some other species of lizards use parthenogenesis as a last resort when they're unable to find a mate, but the New Mexico whiptail is the only species known to only reproduce asexually. What's interesting as well is that two female whiptails will engage in a mating dance where one of them acts as the male. While this doesn't result in the fertilization of an egg, this behavior is believed to stimulate ovulation. It's also earned them the nickname Lesbian Lizards. Number 4. The Platypus Aside from the fact that they hatch from eggs, nurse without nipples, have a leathery bill, lack a stomach, and have venomous spurs on their hind legs, they're just like any other boring mammal. Platypuses are monotremes, an order of mammals whose evolutionary path split off from other mammals around 166 million years ago. There are only two species of monotremes alive today the echidna, and our friend the platypus, both of which can only be found in Australia. What sets monotremes apart from their mammalian cousins is the fact that they hatch from eggs. And while they do have mammary glands to produce milk, platypuses lack nipples. The milk actually oozes out of gland ducts on their abdomens and the babies nurse by sucking the milk out of their mother's fur. That doesn't sound pleasant for anybody involved. Number 5. The Scaly Foot Gastropod A snail with a suit of armor covering its squishy bits. Less than 2 inches long, this weird snail thing is found only on hydrothermal vents deep in the Indian Ocean. Snails in general are made up of two parts, the shell and the foot. In most snails, the foot is soft, slimy, and vulnerable, but the scaly foot gastropods is covered in scaly armor composed of iron sulfides. They're the only animals on the planet that are known to use iron sulfides in this way. Its shell is also extremely tough and pressure resistant compared to other snails, and the United States is currently funding research on the snail in hopes of developing new designs for military armor. Because that's sort of what we do in America. Cool new natural phenomenon? Awesome, let's use it for war stuff. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video and make sure to follow me on all my social media stuff because that's how I judge my self-worth. Subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff and as always my name is Jason Miller and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. My name is Brian Barczyk. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.